Broke has got nothing to do with how much you make. It's how much you keep, Bandona Basekai. Money comes in, what do you do with it? What is your way of making sure that you've got money working for you? What is your way of making sure that when it comes in, you keep it? You keep hustling, 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 hustling. And then the more you start making more money, don't increase your lifestyle. Well, at least not immediately. Rather still stay with moms at home. Make a little bit more money. Instead of you going moving out of home to get your own apartment, you young brother, young sister out there who's 23 years old, who's 24 years old, don't move out as yet. Rather take this little bit more money that you're making. Yes, go buy a one apartment um, a rental that you're going to rent out to a tenant who's going to service the bond for you. In other words, you're still maintaining that lifestyle of staying at home. You're still maintaining that lifestyle of low expenditure, low costs. But even though you're making a little bit more money now, your money has bought an apartment. So instead of moving out at home, don't move out as yet. Buy that one, um, one bedroom apartment and make sure that it brings you the money. And when the money comes, you service the bond with it. That's what you do with it, right? While you're still maintaining the lifestyle. Remember, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money do you keep. And when you do keep it, I know the wide message out there says save the money. I'm not a financial advisor. Go consult professionals. But one thing that I'm sure of that I can tell you that I do, Mina, I put my money to work. Just like purchasing that one bedroom apartment, you put your money to work. It has purchased you an asset that is going to appreciate in value over time and that somebody else is servicing the bond for you on your behalf. Maybe you continue to hustle again. You start making a little bit even more money. Instead of getting that polo plier to always be full with girls over the weekend, monaki van. Rather get a van that can get you money, that can make you money. Because now you've turned a car into an asset. Or rather go buy a Corolla or an Etios. We fucking get any bay Uber. And let this Uber go make you 10 grand a month. Let it go to work. Let this money, let this little bit more money that I'm making go to work. While I still maintain my lifestyle. While my friends bang shega batang na moto. Or while my friends bang shega bati, I'm not wearing expensive taste. While my friends bang shega bati, I don't go out and buy champagne. While my friends bang shega bati, I don't wear Gucci's and Amani's. My lifestyle is still here. Was meaning you are, but my money is at work. It bought a one bedroom apartment and somebody else is paying for it. That rental income is servicing the bond. Was meaning you are, but I've got an Uber out there that is also making me another 10 grand. When that Uber makes that 10 grand every month, you continue building a good relationship with the bank. You build your balance sheet. And what do you do? You start taking that balance sheet to the bank to say, hey, look. I am making 10 grand every month. I've been consistent in making at least a minimum of 10 grand every month. It's now been six months. Apart from that apartment that I bought last year, I'm here now again because I've got another income that's coming in this side from my Uber. I want to purchase another apartment. What do you do now? You are making a little bit more money. Excuse me, you put your money to work into that one bedroom. You put your money to work into that one Uber. Now you're using the balance sheet now to purchase the third asset. The third asset, you rinse and repeat the cycle. You're buying another apartment again to put it out as a rental income. Don't jah, don't move out of home yet. Still stay here. Maintain your lifestyle for another three years. Nyas go to your chale, look poop and go stay in your own apartment so you can have freedom. I know you want to move out now, but don't as yet. Rather purchase those properties that you own, which are an asset that other people are paying for. Rather have that car, even though you behave like you don't have a car, but you know you've got an asset that is on the road. 
you've got a responsible driver driving that Uber, bringing you this other amount of money, and then you can just choose when you want to continue again. Maybe then instead of buying the fourth asset, that fourth asset can be that home that you can use to go and stay in. Only then you can move out of home. Three or four years later then, you would have moved out from home. That is my advice to all of you young guys out there. If you are in your early 20s, I know you want to move out of home as soon as yesterday. But my advice is stay a little bit longer. Find out if you can be able to make a little bit more money. And when you do get to make a little bit more money, put that money to work. Your money must work for you. Once again, as I close this video, being broke is not about how much money you make, but about how much money you keep. And as I remix the statement... It's about you putting your money to work. Your money must work for you.